Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League of Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video I want to look at my team seeing how well they performed in Game Week 13 then we move here to Game Week 14. So if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and drop a like on the video as it helps my channel out a lot. So here we go. So as you can see for Game Week 13 I got 56 points above the average of 46 and I made one free transfer. So the transfer I made was I removed Matoma who did not play at all against Nottingham Forest, and I brought in Inwemo. Now, I brought in Inwemo is because of his fixtures ahead. As you can see, there's Luton, Brighton, uh, Sheffield uh, United, and Aston Villa at home. Then there is a blank. So I'm going to have to kind of navigate game week 18. I'll be looking into that even more next week. Um, so, you know, I think banking a transfer, like now, going into game week 14, might really helped me kind of set myself up better for game week 18 because I've got Haaland as well um, but I'm not too worried about it too much because with the transfers I'm going to be banking I'm going to be removing the, um, the dead wood really the players that are injured to kind of support that run going into that blank um, but I basically trying to attack this game week and I think my team is is set for this game week coming up so let's have a quick look at the team so Ariolo in goal uh, with three um, you know it was expected quite a lot from him actually against Burnley but considered a lot Pero with five um, Gabriel with six uh, Cash was zero um, in Wemo with two Salah with five um, Martinelli with two but my differential is Gordon with 13 helped me out a lot um, so my rank went from 1.8 to 1.4 so I'm just yeah not the best start in the world guys um, but well you know it's, it's actually been quite a difficult season and um, it's been quite difficult to get the points that we need to get those extra points to help us with the rankings and as you can see Darwin with one Haaland with 14 I captained him you know he's got seven points the highest point here so I was thinking to go for um, Salah, but I went for Haaland and Watkins with five. And right now, Watkins has got a little bit of a muscle injury, but I think it should be okay. We'll see. And obviously, Taylor was on my bench. So, um, not bad, not bad. There's a green arrow. I'll take it. Now, going into game with 14, Aguariola in goal against Crystal Palace, there is a good possibility that West Ham could um, you know, get a clean sheet here. My team on paper looks... It doesn't look that bad. I'm like, I am playing Taylor, <laughs> so that is, that is quite horrible. But, I mean, they've got to get a, a, a wing here, right? It got to, um, against um, Sheffield United, so I'm just going to um, pray and, and, and go for it. I've got Gabriel at home against Wolves. I think this is a good fixture for Arsenal to keep a clean sheet. Just going to hope that he starts. Um, Cash against Bournemouth, not really expecting too much here. I do have Pero on the bench. Not sure if I want to bench him because you know he's he's quite attacking actually. So we'll see, we'll see. So I do have a player on the bench to kind of help my team out if there are any issues with my team if one of my players doesn't play. So I've got uh, in one more against Luton, good good shout as a captain option as well. I've got Salah and Darwin against Fulham, another another great uh, fixture for those two. Got to hope that Martinelli plays against Wolves. He's not really providing any returns really lately, so really hurting my team. But Gordon against Manchester United, I'm expecting quite a lot really. It is Manchester United, they, they consider a lot. And Haaland at, uh, at home against Tottenham, good fixture. You know, it is Haaland as well, um, and he could do well against big teams. He, he does well, and he can get a higher amount of returns, but I'm expecting Salah to get more. And Watkins there against Bournemouth. So... I could, I could. Now I'm not, I don't have to, like I'm not desperately in need to make a transfer, but I think there's a good chance that I want to bank my transfer. So I've got two free transfers going into game week uh, 15. Now, if I look at a draft hound, um, so please go ahead and click the link below and um, have a look at the new features. You know, there's a lot of uh, help here that can help you out with your FPL team. So as you can see, this is how my team is setting up. Uh, it's saying now, you know, I'm looking to get like projected of uh, to get points of 69 points. I do have 1.4 in 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 the million in the bank to kind of help me out. And there's some top suggestions on transfers like Paratus and Jenko. You know, 
uh, Ariola, like a goalkeeper options and changing that up. Um, but that's not what I wanted to have a look at. What I want to look at is, um, so player rankings. So if we go to game week 14, we can see that um, Haaland's top with uh, 8.7 predicted points. In game week 14, you've got Salah in one mode. These are the three players that I have. I don't have Saka, but I do have Martellini as a, as a differential. So I'm just going to hope that Saka stays a little bit quiet. You know, there's Trent. Is a good option. There's, um, you know, Palmer. Um, there's Foden. There's Alvarez. Uh, Isak. Uh, Darwin is up there as well. Um, yeah, quite a lot of Arsenal players. And I'm happy with two, but I'm not, I'm not sure about these two because they could always, you know, be rotated. Now, if we look at game week 15, uh, it's pretty similar, really. A lot of Arsenal players because... You know, they got a fixture away against Luton. So, you know, investing in an Arsenal player is the way to go. And I actually want to do that. I want to get maybe another Arsenal player, but I don't know who to remove right now. Um, the only best way is maybe getting another um, defender, so maybe Saliba. But Arsenal's up there. You know, Liverpool's up there as well. Um, so, and as you can see down below, you got Bruno Fernandes. You've got uh, Rashford. He's got home games against Chelsea. But if you look at game week 16, they're quite high because they've got a Bournemouth at home game against a Bournemouth at home in game week 16. You know, you've got Fernandez, uh, Rashford, and so on. So, and as you can see, though, most of these players I've got in my team. It's just Saka is the one that it might hurt my rank a lot. So I need to be aware of him. Or I just, you know, maybe downgrade Watkins or something, but we'll see. I don't really want to do that, but I think with two free transfers, I could go back to three, um, five, two formation if, if I need to. So those are those are some of the stuff that I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, um, there's some fixture analysts as well. As you can see, Manchester City is, is top. Let me look at game week 18. So it's telling it's telling me to get like um, Newcastle, Tottenham, Aston Villa players for these game weeks. As you can see. Aston Villa has got a good home fixture against uh, Sheffield United. You've got Fulham as well. You've got Tottenham against Everton. Newcastle away against Luton. So there's a possibility that I'll have to start to kind of fix my team up a little bit. Maybe getting a little bit of a Newcastle defence going on again. And um, mm, maybe, yeah, I mean, I've got Aston Villa. I'm not going to really change that that much. Hmm, okay, maybe some Manchester United, but we'll just have to see a little bit ahead of uh, game week 18 and see how they how they look in the Christmas period. But anyways, that is about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I am desperately trying to like bank the transfers so I can kind of prepare and kind of fix any kind of problems that I have. As you can see, I've got a couple of uh, uh, problems in the substitute bench that I might be needing in the future, so I'm going to start fixing that up as soon as I can. But I do want to back the transfer going into game at 14. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.